I fucking love war! I wanna fucking kill people for money and destroy cultures and history, Jack! Hello, today I'll be showing you how to obtain power armor right in the beginning of New Vegas. It's normally only obtainable late game, locked behind two obnoxiously long quests. Listen very closely and do as I say, your life depends on it. You can do this with any build, while well, I'm running one or two mods. You can definitely do it with vanilla as well. I know some people are gonna say using mods is cheating, so none of this counts, but the stuff I'm using is actually going to be making this run actively more difficult. The biggest convenience I do have is a sprint mod that only drains stamina when I'm in combat, just like an Elden Ring. For some of the more time sensitive events in the game, I'll do all of them without sprinting, just to show you it's not impossible. With that out of the way, I think we can begin. As stated earlier, your build doesn't matter, but I still recommend energy weapons, since you have easy access to them, and lockpicking is always useful. I'll be playing as Doc Michael, the evil version of Doc Mitchell. I selected a trait that makes him obsessed with wearing power armor, because he's all old and dried out. So now I have a whole bunch of penalties for not wearing any, but that will change eventually. Our first order of business is ignoring all this DLC notification spam. Then it's time to head to the town saloon to meet Sunny Smiles. She's the tutorial lady who'll give you a book on how to break into people's houses, and will provide you the tools for it. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. Until next. Click out of one. Inside this safe is a stealth boy, a one time consumable that turns you invisible. Pretty handy if something goes wrong. God, fucking. I need, I need to fucking mating press the new Lois Lane. I suppose now's a good time to explain what we're actually doing, so here's the quick rundown. There's a group of power armor dudes hiding in a bunker here, but they're kind of assholes and don't feel like sharing. In order to even establish contact with them, You'll need a password or get a random lesbian to vouch for you. A password can be picked up from one of any tree patrols scattered across New Vegas. If you locate all three of them and handle a little chore, the moment you do meet them, they'll want to be best friends and will divulge all their technological secrets to you. Okay! That's one password down, two more to go. This is a dangerous place, human. Goodbye. We did just loot two laser rifles off of those fellas, but we're not gonna need them. Stay hidden and sneak along the right until you discover Black Mountain. Fast traveling to it will place you at the summit of the mountain, avoiding all the big green dudes that would disapprove of you being alive. Once up here, do a 360 and head down this way. There might still be some hostile wildlife around, but they're no match for my legs. I will employ them once more and jog away at a reasonable pace. We're now in Webcon headquarters for the second patrol. They're the top level of the building, but access is restricted behind this locked door. Meep, 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 meep. Stop it! Just ask any of the floating robots around for a tour of the building. Welcome to Repcon headquarters, Rocketeer! Come all this way to see our little facility, have you? Excellent, excellent. Please be patient, the tour will begin in just a moment. Ready? 
you for the rep contour rocketeer? No. Eventually, he'll help you open this other locked door, which leads to a dead employee with a keycard. Unauthorized facial pattern detected. The robots are meant to keep non-employees out, and will unleash killer robots on you if you dwaddle for too long. There are plenty of skill checks to subvert them, but they only sound the alarm after a generous 30 seconds. The only way to fuck up here is if you hit one of them accidentally. Oh, 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 God, yeah! Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Invalid response. You have 30 seconds to make Shut the fuck up, I will fucking laser you. With the second password in our hands, it's time to go wander into a military base and bum a train ride off the NCR. They're another group of assholes who don't feel like sharing their stuff. Hold it. NCR only beyond this point. Keep your distance or I will fire. You like that? Uh, no. For those of you who actually like the NCR, don't worry, for some reason the guards on the other side of the train don't give a shit. I bet it feels real nice to be carrying those weapons. Stop! Had it, partner! Hey, get out of my head! Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Woo! We're in Vegas, baby! And now we're leaving Vegas for Freeside, which is almost as dirty and destitute as Fremont in real life. Anyway, we're here to get a job at a place called the Silver Rush. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones. It should only take a moment. There, I've stored all of your weapons and clear the enemy. I need to see you a boss. Copy that. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top of the line energy weapons can be found. It just so happens a position opened up recently. Before heading back outside, we're gonna go borrow two of their plasma grenades. Keep moving. Well, if you insist. Welcome to the Sylv- Aw, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. I've been paired with worse, I guess. Anyway, let's see if you can follow instructions. Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a- Laser gun? Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Hmm. Ah! We're supposed to pat everyone down. Didn't you hear that part of my instructions? Thanks a bunch. Were you even listening when I said what you're supposed to do? Eventually, someone wearing baggy clothing who might be concealing a bomb will show up. Go ahead and let him into. You're doing it on purpose, aren't you? Congratulations, all but one of your former employers are dead. Just pop the stealth boy from earlier and hide your resignation letter in Simon's pocket. Now you get to keep the employee bulletproof vest and a plethora of other supplies. I don't think you need to kill the guy that just hands out the store flyers outside, but I felt like killing him too. There's only one more stop before we go meet the Brotherhood of Steel. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight! The third and final patrol is located in the middle of a field, currently being shelled by literal boomers. You don't actually need to make contact with them, but I'm playing on hardcore and forgot I'm about to die of thirst. Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? <laughs> Why don't you stick around and find out? Huh? Welcome, child. It took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? 
Those howitzers of ours aren't just for entertainment, child. Oh. There's something special about you, child. Sorry, sugar tits. I'm only here to drink out of your toilet. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. Wander off, and it will detonate. Before you can entrust you with another fetch quest, Elder Uchiha wants you to get rid of an NCR ranger who's camping nearby and might discover their secret club. The easiest method to get rid of him is to wait for him to go take a shit, then smash his radio so he has to go home and get a new one. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. And I've decided to stop helping you, so I can go conspire with your second in command instead. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter. I think we might be able to help each other out. Hardon is an extremist asshole who wants to use up the elder and take his place. Just don't make fun of his haircut and hear out his plea. If I become elder, the lockdown will be lifted, and we'll once again be able to send patrols out into the wastes. We'll become powerful again, and when that happens, it will be good to have the Brotherhood as an ally. Good enough? Both paths do eventually lead to power armor training, but McNamara wants to send you to bumfuck nowhere multiple times fix all the problems of the bunker, then gives you a suicide mission as your rite of passage. Baldi on the other hand only has two chores for you, so the choice is obvious. Unfortunately, his route doesn't translate very well into video. It's mostly backtracking between three NPCs and helping to flush out a virus from the Brotherhood's computers. After doing that, you'll learn from the archives that the Brotherhood has an obscure law that could get Magna Sheen in trouble. In other words, respect the chain of command. You're not supposed to give orders to someone else's subordinates, even if you're technically everyone else's superior. Just as I thought, McNamara gave my men new orders without telling me. The nerve of that man. Bringing this to light will demote him to a janitor, <laughs> and Hardin will succeed him as the new elder. Welcome, my friend. A new day has dawned for this chapter, and moving forward we will no longer cower in the dark. Before he lets you into his secret club, Hardin wants you to destroy our old friends, the Van Graffs, as a show of loyalty. And we've already done that. Well done. This is a small step in the right direction, but it's damn good to move forward again. It is my honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood, for your meritorious service in its name. Being a Paladin includes power armor training, and access to a safe house with a whole bunch of goodies, like a factionless T-51B suit. Congratulations on the armor. It will trivialize almost every combat encounter from here on out. As for Doc Michael, it's time for him to go home. Thank you for watching my Fallout ship post. If you'd like to further support the channel, you can now be a part of my YouTube memberships for only a dollar a month. In return, you receive a little badge and maybe more videos will come out faster. Alright, I'll see you all very soon. I love you guys.